hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're acid darling thank you guys so much for clicking once again if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and to all my ogs you know what to do comment down below let me know gang gang now we bring it back again and that's because breaking news breaking news the infamous college of the moment now with everything that has to do with study cap if there's one college that has gained popularity not necessarily in a good light is Conestoga College. Like Conestoga College has been on the lip of everybody. It almost seems like everybody is blaming Conestoga College for this study cap, for everything that went wrong. And guys, if you have been watching my videos, you know that Conestoga College is was one of the colleges that I was considering going to. Like that was the college I told my agents to um, get admission for me. While I personally applied to Seneca, I applied to Humber and them they applied to conestoga i found i did my research i was like okay it's a good college i tried to look for places around kitchener and all of that so i'm sure that many people also check the college out um earlier i've done a video where i said um somebody on on tiktok had talked about um employers targeting conestoga college if you haven't heard the news some employers are planning to blacklist all students from conestoga college from here on and to that, I say, what the fuck? Like, you know what? Why stop at just blacklisting Conestoga College students? Why not all college students? Actually, why not blacklist all university students? You, you see what I'm doing? Like, this post that's gaining traction on Reddit, and I hope they're not being serious, because if you're generalizing a whole college, let alone a department, okay? A whole college because they have a overabundance the oversupply of one set of international students like you're a shitty employer and in fact if I was looking for a job and I saw that it said no console of college students uh, accepted they're probably a place you probably would want to apply for like I would run that's a red flag how about some of these employers update their hiring processes. Everything about that, everything about filtering, I don't know, just a guess. Because someone who has hired from colleges across the country, from universities east to west, I can tell you, not all programs are equal. Some of the programs you think might be on the top are actually on the bottom. You have to look at every student individually. Because a good student is a good student, no matter what school they went to. Sure, there's credentialism. Sure, maybe some of the students who went to Harvard or went to U of T, whatever it is, maybe they might be a cut above, but also no guarantee. I've had some fantastic international students and domestic students from colleges that you think, ah, uh, what do you make the cut? Well, good thing I'm not just looking at colleges. I'm looking at overall abilities, personality, character, resume, all that. And a college or a university is just one line on a resume. So just a heads up for any student out there. Someone else did a breakdown about how much um, of a jump their revenue went to because they just started accepting everybody. And it's not so much of a big school. Conestoga made $140 million on tuition in the last 16 months. You know me in our international no, students? Conestoga's got like two no. campuses, right? They're like the size of this building, you know? Like they're not huge colleges. 30,000 they brought in in 16 months. And so Conestoga is doing what any rational actor in that situation would do. Can we make $140 million if we open up a bunch of one year, you know, dog shit yeah. programs for international students who want to come here and get permanent residence? If the answer is yes, I mean, I don't have to draw the flow chart for you. We do it. <laughs> if the answer is no, then we There's then one, we Nick and I were looking at the enrollment into their hairstyling program. It's a 12 month hairstyling or hairstylist Insane. program. And then half the people drop out because what was happening, we came to understand is they get here, they start taking the class, but then they get a job somewhere. And if they get a job somewhere, that allows them to kind of stay on yeah. and get permanent resident status mm -hmm. and so they were kind of just using the course as this alternate immigration so i'm going to be reading this from olu of canada shout out to you he said um in his post in 2023 conestoga's college's revenue from tuition fee that's last year was 389 million 238,232. listen to me that is balling that is balling 389 million dollars oh jesus the school's total revenue increased over 137 million year after year 
out of the 42,000 students in the college, 30,000 were international students. The college also had the most study permit applications approved in 2023. A total of 30,395 study permits for only 2023 from Conestoga College. Now, this particular one is according to the um, Ontario government, um, colleges with public-private partnership and Conestoga College will see the largest decline. That is because of numbers like this. I don't even want to see how much they are going to be charging them in tax, but um, and if they charge, you know all these learning institutions, how do they do with their tax matters? But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope this does not negatively impact the students that are currently there because they have already been seeing a lot of impact in terms of um, people that have just developed prejudice against them. But now with more um, findings and seeing these things evolve, it seems like a lot of changes will have to be made now i'm going to be showing you a chat i got from grad life canada immigration shout out to you this was this particular chat i've done a similar chat that i did in a video showing you the top 10 um schools and how the the distribution was for the kind of jump permits they gave last year so you can see from this that conestoga college approved permits of 51,049. The second most approved was University Canada West. Now understand that University Canada West became popular because a lot of people wanted to do masters but at an affordable rate and in a province where after masters you get your PR, you understand that kind of thing. That was then. Only for BC, I just did a video. Please see if you really want to get up-to-date info, I don't know why you're even leaving this channel. Just put on your notifications. Because I did a video stating that BC now has cancelled this from bachelor's, or sorry, from your master's, you can have a graduate stream. Ontario still has it for now, but you know Ontario can learn bad things quick. Ontario still has it, but BC has cancelled it. Like, even if you do your MSc and you want to now get your PR, you need a job that has put that they will employ you for a year, and not just any job one of those um skilled jobs so it's not easy but uh, university of canada was saw 23,452 students seneca was number three with 21,849 um, um centennial 21,153 um lampton college 18,562 fanshore 17,473 Sheridan 15,054, Algoma University, and the rest of them. But this is basically the report. And another report, another part of the report, um, went on to state that Kitchener based Conestoga reported a 106 million surplus last year after recruiting more international students than any other school and charging them tuition fee that are two to four times higher than Canadian students pay. Conestoga. Um, students filed 450 asylum claims with the federal government in 2023, up from 106 claims in 2022. Built from abroad, Conestoga College's pursuit of international or foreign students after 2018 has boosted its revenue, operating surplus and payroll. Expansion has increased the value of its land, buildings, furniture, and equipment and this is a report from the kitchener region miller criticized conestoga friday while attending an online forum hosted by toronto metropolitan university tmu he asked he was asked to comment on the increased anti-immigration sentiment bordering on racism that is now more evident in the in the kitchener waterloo area because of the high international student population from india Oh, that area is seeing increased anti-immigration sentiment. Oh, okay. Um, the questionnaire said, I can't really blame people for feeling that way. There's no housing and no jobs, but it seems people are lashing out against or voicing their dissent against a group of people instead of the government. It's not a very reassuring feeling as a brown person to know that in times of crisis, the immediate reaction is more ethnocentric in nature, which is a fantastic point. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Yeah, because if that's the same thing I've been saying, like this particular error 
in judgment, in admission, in visa approval, it's a government error because you can't tell me that IRCC does not have a database that keeps showing Conestoga, Conestoga, Conestoga. At some point, somebody in that office or in the back end or in the head office would have said, why are we giving so many permits to Conestoga? What's on ground? And then you call government. Government says, you know what? Just stop. Just delay, delay visa. Visa that was supposed to come out one month, you just delay, just drag it for eight months, you just drag it to the next day, you just deny and give reasons, you just tell the school to stop admission, you know, different ways. But when when they get to a point where it has blown in their faces, they now act surprised and try to solve something that should have just never been created in the first place. Anyway, so they ask where the students are from as concerning the students that have been coming into Conestoga and um, the environs. So you can see from the chat, top citizenship of foreign students giving new permits to attend Waterloo Region schools. Um, all permits were 32,350, up from 22,905. Inside 32,350, India has 25,663. That's almost everything. Last year, they had 19,332. The second runner up is actually Nigeria, but guess what? We have just 2,615. That's why when people keep shouting, oh, Nigerians are full in Canada, they are making noise, they are not allowing us rest. Look at the number 2,615. Up from the previous year, we just had 788 people in the Waterloo region. Next is China, next is Ghana. You can see all the other countries there. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So the body of the post went on to read what um, they said. Kitchener-based Conestoga reported a 106 million su um, surplus last year after recruiting more international students than any other school and charging them fees um, that are up to two to four times higher than what Canadian students pay. Um, Conestoga received federal approval for more than 51,000 foreign students over 2022-2023. That's more than double the visas approved for any other school. And it's 12 times more foreign students than were approved to attend University of Waterloo and um, Wilfred Laurier University. Conestoga students filed 450 um, asylum claims with the federal government in 2023 and up to 106 claims in 2022 guys i've told you that this is one area that they are targeting it's just that their hands are full if they want another scapegoat they might be coming for asylum seekers because lots of news have dropped concerning asylum route and all of that and i would like to also update you guys but right now these are the issues that conestoga is facing currently They've tried their best to clean their names. They've tried their best to, you know, start looking at how they would have, um, how they would have um, um, more accommodation spaces because they made too much money. See, like if you have a good board, this is the time to go back to the books and make sure that you use your money wisely. Don't finish everything building what you cannot finish. You know, you go and build 20-story um, um, residence. And then you you, naturally, you you go bankrupt trying to finish it. No. So do the best that you can. Um, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So this is for Conestoga. Um, if you got admission to Conestoga or you finished from Conestoga, um, I, I believe that, you know, just keep praying. Keep your faith in God. Let it not be that this country, they are, I feel like sometimes and the, the media is so easily manipulated imagine you open the news channel every day conestoga oh conestoga did this conestoga tomorrow now you're reviewing cv from somebody and you see conestoga you just roll your eye be like please 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 you know that kind of thing um yeah you, i don't want them to start feeling prejudice much more than the one they've been feeling already okay so shout out to all the people that sent in comments and and likes and everything i really really appreciate each and every one of you hope you're enjoying this um the series so far i remember your girl acid darling please make sure to give it a thumbs up like share this video with your friends let me know your thoughts and check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Why you